Okay, let's make a perfect repeating pattern. So to start with, I drew a box. The box is a half inch by a half inch. It's just a convenient size to start with. You don't want something too big or too small. Uh, so I'm gonna make a copy of the box just in case I need it later. Control C. And now let's use this box to create guides. So I do this just for convenience. You'll see other variations of this method that I'm using. But let's make guides. So just select the object, right click, make guides. So now we have guides. Now let's lock our guides because we don't want them to accidentally move as we're working. Okay, so I pre-made some shapes. So here's three circles over here. Just make them touch the left edge. Now whatever we do on the left edge, we need to do on the right edge. So we need the move command will be the easiest way to do it. Some videos will tell you just to drag, but if you do it this way, it's uh, foolproof. You don't have to worry. Doing things by the numbers, as they say, is usually uh, can't miss. So I'm going to double click the selection tool, the black arrow tool. This will bring up my move tool. So I want to move this horizontally half an inch. Vertically, I don't want to move it at all. So vertical is going to be zero. Let's move this out of the way. And then I want to copy. So click copy. So there we go. Now our left side and the right side are the same. Let's use these two circles. Oops. For the top. Just arrange them any way you want. Okay, now let's do the same thing. Whatever we do on the top, we have to do on the bottom. Oop, click the wrong key. There we go. So again, I could use, I can go over here, double click this, the regular selection tool. Here's my move tool, horizontal. We don't want to move at all, zero. Vertical, half an inch. Click copy. Okay, so now our top and the bottom are the same. Now, in the middle, you can do whatever you like. So as long as the top and bottom, left and right are okay, in the middle you can do anything at all. You could write your name, draw an image, put in a logo, whatever you like. So now we have our shapes here. So now we're going to make a pattern out of it. Uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way by dragging it into the pattern swatches. Here's my swatches. I only have my pattern swatches showing for convenience, but now I need that box back. So uh, since I copied it initially, I can just do a control B as in back. So control B will paste that square all the way in the back of everything else. Now this square needs to have no stroke and no fill. And this will determine the boundaries of my image, of my pattern. So some people will make a clipping path. That's okay too, but it's not necessary. So let's get our um, swatches back. So now my guides are locked. Make sure your guides are locked. You don't want to drag them. Select everything. Drag into your swatches uh, panel here. And there's my new swatch. Uh, let's give it a little test. So let's do control minus, zoom out a bit, and draw a nice rectangle. Go to fill. Here's my fill. Click on that. And there you go. So now zoom in to test it out. See if everything worked out. Yeah, so you can see everything worked out nicely. Here's the left edge, here's the right edge, here's the top, and here's the bottom. So everything is, is repeating perfectly. <laughs>